Hi, I want to talk to you about breadcrumbs. What breadcrumbs are are these things right here. They give you when you go to a website, uh, obviously there's the address bar, it tells you where you are, but you're going to need to know uh, basically what, what part of the section of the site are you on. So it tells you from home, I went to manhole cleaning. So let me go back to home page. I want to go back to the home page. All right, now I want dry wells. When you go to dry wells, it goes from home and it automatically goes to dry wells. When you make a big site and you have a lot of content, you're going to want a uh, breadcrumbs that basically derive from Hansel and Gretel and it, yeah it takes you back to the home page so you're going to want to be able to have a little bit of a strategy on visually how to get back there. Here's other examples uh, this website sells shoes tells you in shoes brown for men and it's attribute based you're going to go right back to the home section if you needed to based on your selections it really makes it user friendly and for SEO purposes it's very very important because it also goes involved with your sitemap and it tells the uh, Google uh, crawlers and the back end um, uh, uh, things that go on what your site consists of so here's what it looks like on page and that's going to be right here uh, breadcrumb is right here then you're also gonna have to do it in your CSS now I do custom code so I don't use really WordPress like everyone else does I do it different I actually do custom things where I'm uh, not limited, but uh, here's how you could do it in WordPress as well. If you wanted to, you take it from here and put it into your CSS section. That's the HTML part. Here's the CSS. So you take this bit of information right here in the CSS, and here's what it looks like on my end. When I go to a, uh, here's my CSS. I go to the very bottom. Uh, the breadcrumbs are right here. So here's my breadcrumb uh, script of CSS. It's a lot. Now, one thing that's an issue. Uh, when you're in the CSS, you have advantages because you could stylize stuff. Meaning, I can't really see that this is white over this yellow. It's poor contrast. I like this color. Now, this was previously an issue. So I want to change this, this color of my breadcrumb just so it's easier for my users to know that um, where they are visually. It's just better contrast. So. I want this color. There's an easier way to do it to take the hex code. Hit print screen. And after you've done that, go into Photoshop. Let Photoshop open. Okay. All right. Go to File, uh, Create New. Just let it do what it does because after you hit print screen, it's automatically tailor made for the pixel sizes and everything. I'm just showing you how to stylize the hex codes of your breadcrumbs. So you're going to hit control paste, control V. I'm going to go to the sample tool, which is the eyedropper. I'm going to sample this text here so it's exactly as I want it to look up here. Go into here, get the hex code, it's right here. Copy that hex code. Go back into your script. The script, uh, this I believe is the color of it. You hover over it, it tells you it's white. I'm going to paste it into there. Bam. Uh, that should just be the color it looks like of the place you're on. So let's see. Uh, let's go to dry wells. Let's test it out, see how she looks. Yeah. All right, it's the home page. So the home page is now the correct color. I like the hover over to black attribute. But I could see home better. But dry wells, I don't know if I want to leave it white. I'll make it black as well. Or that that other intricate color that I like. It's like a gray. So come over to dark again in the CSS panel. Sorry, my computer's kind of going a little slow. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little slow. Uh, there's that one. There's one more uh, a line at the top, vertical. It is this color right here. This FFF right here. FFF is white, by the way, in the hex code kingdom. So we're going to highlight this one. And I want to delete this. Sorry, give it a moment. One. Sorry, it's going a little slow. Okay, as I said, the top color is white, so I'll get rid of that and I'll paste in the other hex code, which is that one. And there it is. Let's save it all. And we'll go to drywall repair. We'll preview that. And that should all be in that gray color now, see? So it's better contrast, better up there. It's consistent with what these are. And it also uh, is relevant with your keywords. So 
that is how you uh, design and color the CSS of your breadcrumbs. But the main thing is to give your users a, 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 a map on how to get back to where they were. That's the most important thing, the essence of breadcrumbs. Not every site is going to need breadcrumbs, but uh, this site is getting bigger and bigger and becoming a juggernaut for um, vacuum services and flood pumping and things of that nature. So we want to make sure that we have breadcrumbs on it. And once you do it in the CSS, once it does it on every page, just like PHP. Okay, so this is the script you're going to need to put in your C uh, HTML, which goes up here. In your breadcrumbs on drywalls, slide bar, it's under your header, uh, under your head bar, your main bar. Here they are. Here's your HTML information right here. That's the exact section. And this part goes in your CSS section. Wherever it is, whether it be in a CSS style like mine or in a WordPress style. And after you've done this, the more your website grows, the more you're going to have a user-friendly map up here of breadcrumbs to get people back where they have to go. Just like these other sites. The shoes. Shoes is a perfect example. And this one is also stylized in CSS a little bit differently. And keep it simple. Don't go too crazy. Okay? Breadcrumbs. Thank you.